the GPT store just launched and I found the most popular GPTs ranked by visits. But you might have never used any of them, leaving you using ChatGPT in basic mode giving you very basic and bad responses. So I'll show you 17 of the most popular GPTs ranked by most visited. So by the end of this video, use one of these custom GPTs to change how you use ChatGPT forever. This video is sponsored by NVIDIA, powering AI in gaming, creativity, and more that you'll see coming up. Number one, research GPT with 365,000 visits. As you can see, this is an AI research assistant. Search 200 million academic papers from consensus, get science-based answers, and draft content with accurate citations. The standard prompts being, does creatine improve cognition? Can intergroup contact reduce prejudice? I think this one is pretty interesting, so let's click it. It's now starting the action. We have to allow consensus app, and as you can see, it's citing these papers from 2015 and 2009. Yeah. It just keeps giving us paper after paper on cognitive performance. Then it goes into the mixed or no significant effects. So this is the answer we got. I'm really impressed. So research GPT is definitely for you if you are looking to dive deeper into research. Number two, Grimoire with 281,000 views. As you can see, this is the second most popular one, which is a coding wizard. 100x engineer, create a website with a sentence, build for a new era of creativity. It has 15 plus hotkeys for coding flows, 19 starter project, prompt first code and media, start with a picture or a quest, type K for CMD menu or R for readme. The standard prompts are begin project two, link in bio, print project ideas using P. I actually just wanna type R to see the readme. I'm following the creator of this GPT on Twitter and the results that he's showing with this is far superior than a regular chat GPT. As you can see, he challenged it to write a Pong game in HTML. Grok AI answered with writes the word Pong, lol. Chat GPT makes 89 lines, but it doesn't finish the paddles, controls, or collisions, but with Grimoire, 129 lines, fully implemented, download link with a .zip file. He just wrote write Pong in HTML, then he did the W hotkey, the set hotkey, three clicks, download zip file, open web host site, and drag and drop folder. Here you can see the list of commands that you can do from WASD to confirm and advance to the next step to the debugging where you can simplify explanations for beginners, exporting, wildcard, and grimter phase. So you can see why people are choosing this when they are programming and writing code. Number three. It can be very frustrating to see your computer lag or wait a long time. That's why Nvidia put AI in their RTX GPUs to speed up and enhance experiences with gaming, editing, 3D rendering, and running AI computations. That's right, Nvidia's AI specialized tensor cores dramatically speeds up performance across the most demanding applications for work and play. With the AI accelerated RTX GPUs, in 300 games, you get instantly improved frame rates and visual fidelity. For creators, more than 100 AI-enabled creative applications, including DaVinci Resolve, Adobe Cloud Products, Blender, and Unity Engine benefit from RTX acceleration. This acceleration results in tasks like exporting and rendering being completed much faster. If you run AI computations on your computer, these aren't just any GPUs, they're powerhouses for AI computing. If you're filming, NVIDIA's broadcast app turns any room into a home studio. You can enhance your webcam and microphone for improved live streaming or video conferencing with AI effects like virtual background, noise and room echo removal, eye contact, 
and more. Go further with AI faster on RTX. Click link in the description to learn more and participate in the hashtag AI on RTX sweepstakes where they are giving away some awesome prizes across NVIDIA channels. Keep an eye on their latest post to see how you can enter to win some sweet new tech. Thank you to NVIDIA for sponsoring this section of the video. Number three, AI PDF with 280,000 visits. AI PDF GPT can handle PDF documents up to two gigabytes each, allows thousands of PDF uploads on myairdrive.com with a free account. It eliminates the need for repeated file uploads. Pro version can search across thousands of PDFs and OCR documents provides superior summaries for lengthy documents. You probably have seen AI PDF readers and there's actually a prompt here that is how is it different from file upload option in ChatGPT? So let's ask it that. First capacity for more documents. So ChatGPT file upload is limited to 10 files per session. It also has a larger file size up to two gigabytes, which is huge. Permanent storage that you don't have to upload them again and again and again. Efficient document management that makes it easier to access and reference them and advanced search capabilities. So apparently this is the most popular PDF custom GPT. So when you're uploading your next PDF, check this out. Number four, Canva with 277,000 visits. Effortlessly design anything, presentations, logos, social media posts, and more. You're probably already familiar with Canva. It can make an inspirational quote graphic for social media, Instagram post about a breathtaking sunset, a poster for our online store's sale. So let's have a poster for our Christmas sale. We sell tech products. It's first asking us a bunch of questions. Tell me a bit more about the vibe or theme you're going for? Are we thinking festive, modern, or perhaps a bit of both? Very festive, please. Oops, it had an error talking to it because we need to add a specific elements or message 25% off only in December. And they were able to make two posters that both look quite bad. Now, the good part is if you just click on it, you can always edit everything inside of Canva, which is a big time saver if you're making any type of designs. And obviously they are using a bunch of these templates and ChatGPT is basically more like a template finder. So if you like this one a little bit more, you can just pick that. Number five, new GPT-5 with 236,000 visits. This is an AGI-like AI excelling in reasoning personalization and confidentiality. As you can see, some of the prompts are discuss the future of AI technology, interpret complex data in simple terms, evaluate a recent scientific discovery, or guide me through an advanced technical setup. Let's click on this prompt. It started answering one noteworthy discovery was the progress in nuclear fusion technology. It gives a discovery overview where the achievement is they produced a fusion reaction resulting in a net energy gain. It goes to evaluation where the pros are clean energy, abundant fuel supply, safety, but the cons being technological challenges, high cost, time frame for implementation and a conclusion where it actually did a really good job. I asked it what it can do to see how it's different from normal chat GPT. And it says advanced discussion and problem solving, enhance empathy. But the one that I think was really interesting was number seven, surpassing GPT four's capabilities. I like a model that is trained to be better than itself. <laughs> number six, ask your PDF research assistant, 167,000 visits. Here you can see enhance your research with ask your PDF, research assistant, chat with multiple files, chat PDF, generate articles with citations, analyze and generate references for papers, create and interact with a knowledge base of your files and much more. Ask Your PDF is prevalent in this AI space as they have one of the best PDF readers. Because we had another PDF here, I want to ask it what is different than just uploading directly to JGPT. So it has specialized PDF handling where it can efficiently process, store and retrieve information from these documents. Persistent document storage, we've seen this before. Advanced querying where you can search 
search within a specific document across multiple documents and even generate references from academic papers. They also have an API integration that allows you to download, upload, query, and manage documents. Reference generation, this is interesting, making it a valuable tool for students, researchers, and professionals who need to cite sources in their work. Task-specific customization to make it an even more user-friendly and efficient experience. Number seven, Mr. Randir, 166,000 visits. Meet Mr. Reindeer, your personalized AI tutor version 2.7. The prompts being slash plan, I want to learn special relativity slash language, Chinese slash config slash plan, I want to learn integrals. Let's click on the first one. As you can see, it started analyzing. It created all of this config like tone and style, depth, high school and learning style active. Wow, it's actually going super in depth. It then wrote the text and we have a please say slash star to begin this exciting journey. So far, Mr. Reindeer can be my teacher. Number eight, designer GPT with 138,000 visits. This is a GPT specialized in generating and refining images with a mix of professional and friendly tone. The most popular image generator as a custom chat GPT. Now, I don't know what is it doing differently than just Dolly 3, right? So let's ask it. It has focused expertise, which apparently should be able to better understand and interpret your request for visual content. It also has creative interpretation to make educated guesses about your request, which means I can fill in gaps or add creative touches when details are not fully specified. Iterative refinement, which means I can keep adjusting and refining the image, balanced tone, a mix between professionalism and casual friendliness and optimized interaction. Let me actually try one of the prompts that I use a lot. I'm gonna prompt it a photo of a Norwegian man with a hair in a bun and test it against normal Dolly. Send message and here is the image. Let's check normal Dolly, the exact same prompt. As you can see, there is a pretty big difference and I actually like the image generator best, but I'd have to test it a little more. Number nine, logo creator with 88,000 visits. Use me to generate logo designs. As you can see, generate a logo for my ice cream company, a logo for my camping website, fire camp, browse a website, then generate a logo and generate a logo similar to the uploaded image. I actually wanna see what it's gonna do with the text fire camp, so let's see. First, it's asking us a question and we have to answer playful, neutral, serious, skip all the questions and generate. Let's just do default. Now it's asking for the scale of one to 10, how you like the complexity of design. Let's make it a five. Would you like to include any words inside of the logo for fire cramp? It's asking for what type of logo, like letter mark, word mark. Let's do a combination mark. And it's now finally creating. Only four questions and uh, here is the result. <laughs> That's not bad. I mean, it was definitely something like I was envisioning. I would love to see it more detailed, but I'm gonna use my limit of GPT. So if you're looking for a logo design, highly recommend. Number 10, research GPT official with 79,000 visits. As you can see, do hours worth of research in minutes with Research GPT, AI research assistant that helps you discover the latest and related papers from 282 million articles and ask questions to get citation backed answers. Very similar to what we already seen, local studies on neural network, explore papers about higher dimensional algebra, receive articles on dark matter and energy theories, and the last one, papers on climate changes impact on biodiversity. I don't know if it's used for this, but locate studies on YouTube creators. Here you can see that it's writing the answers. This one is about making a media career beyond YouTube, and here is the entire paper. So if you're doing research, this might be a good second option, but actually, number 11, Scholar AI with 65,000 visits. This is also another research assistant. Apparently, they're very popular in the top 27 new GPTs, and you might find that one fits better for your specific purpose. Let's actually just ask it about the exact same question about YouTube creators. I actually have to sign in with this one. Okay, that was simple. Here you can see its response. It actually found the exact same paper that I just opened. Yep, it also found us four papers. So which of these research assistants are the best? I recommend testing all of them for your purpose. Number 12, the secret of Monkey Island, Amsterdam 
with 64,000 visits. This is an unofficial text-based adventure game inspired by Monkey Island, taking place in a fictional version of Amsterdam during the age of piracy. The player assumes the role of Guybrush Threepwood, a young man who dreams of becoming a pirate who explores fictional places and solves puzzles. You can either start the adventure or I found the treasure already continue from there. Let's start the adventure. As you can see, it generated an image and it has a little script here. And we also have Gilders zero health 100% with four options to either look at the ships, talk to a nearby sailor, walk towards the market, search for a job to earn some Gilders. Now, actually, let's go to the market, huh? I love how the images have this pixelated style. As you can see, 1695, you stroll into the vibrant Amsterdam market. Again, we also have four more options. Talk to the spice merchant, look at exotic fruits, ask for any job opportunities, search for someone who looks like a pirate. I think the next choice is up to you. This seems very fun so far. Number 13, content helpfulness and quality SEO analyzer with 58,000 visits. I help you evaluate your web content helpfulness, relevance, and quality for your targeted query based on Google's guidelines versus the one of your competitors. So the only prompt here is add your site content URL to assess. Let's take this entire AI generated blog that I made and put it in here. It's asking for the search keyword. That's best electric bike. Oh, it seems like I have a robots TXT file that is preventing an automated system like this from retrieving the page. Let's just try another one searching best electric bike in Google. And I'm going to scroll to the bottom and pick the bottom one because maybe that's not like 100% optimized. Take the link. Well, it's time.com. It also wasn't able to access this website. It just gave us a bunch of like general information. So this one might work for you, but for me, it didn't work. Number 14, super describe with 55,000 visits. Upload any image to get a similar one using Dolly 3 along with the detailed prompt. That's really cool because I have a bunch of images, like for example, this one that I wasn't entirely happy with. Let's see what it's going to say. Yep, that's pretty pretty bad. It's not similar at all, except there is a screen and he's pointing at it, but no white background. His hair isn't even in a bun. You would get the exact same result, I think, if you just gave it directly to ChatGPT. Number 15, Universal Primer with 48,000 visits. As you can see, explain how transformers work in LMs. Teach me React and Redux. How does a Kalman filter work? And how is the Navier-Stokes equation derived? I could learn about that. As you can see, it's starting by writing the basic concepts, then the derivation steps, as well as an analogy to actually understand the concept. But what makes it actually different than normal ChatGPT? So you can see it's specialized to function like a superhuman tutor, deeply engaging in technical and complex topics and teaching them with a clarity and depth. You can see all the differences right here. So test this one if you're trying to learn something. Number 16, GPT's works with 50,000 visits. This is a third party GPT store where we can chat for searching GPTs. Let's ask it for any GPTs about YouTube. It actually was able to find over nine different GPTs that all sound really good, like chat and answer question from YouTube videos, can chat with any YouTube video, even find YouTube videos based on your description, a really valuable tool if you want to find more GBTs. Number 17, math solver with 56,000 visits. Look, it's an advanced math solver and computational tool with detailed step-by-step -step solutions and web browsing. As you may know, ChatGPT is not so good at math, but I've seen some of these GPTs actually crush it out of the water. Let's take a screenshot of these three math equations. Let's just paste a picture in there. Let's ask it for a solution. As you can see, it starts by answering kind of what is the problem. So it did it for all the three ones. And then it actually goes through with data analysis to give the X. But let's see if it's actually correct. This is the answer ChatGPT gave us. And this is the actual answer. It actually put four outside of the brackets, which is actually more clean. But in the end, it actually is a correct answer. The second problem, the answer is this. And this is the actual answer. So again, it put the minus two outside of the brackets. While on ChatGPT, it actually just put it inside. Problem number three, this was the answer 
answer and it's the exact same in the solution. So if you're looking for a math tutor, I think you found the right one. So which of these custom GPTs are you gonna use? Subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much to our sponsor in the description down below. That's it, see you in the next one.